Hello everybody, this is Tech Hut, and in this video what we're going to be doing is talking about OnlyOffice Workspace. Now the OnlyOffice team reached out and did sponsor this video to bring your attention to OnlyOffice Workspace is here. If you go right here, go over, OnlyOffice Workspace, this is it. This tool can be used as a free and open source alternative to something like uh, uh, G Suite or even Office 360 for business. You can see here they have a bunch of tools to manage your business processes such as document, mail, CRM projects, and a calendar tool. And here if we scroll down we could get a lot more information on it, but we're going to be diving into some of the specifics of the software in just a minute. And one of the reasons I thought that this is an awesome sponsorship is the fact that this is a, you have the option for self-hosted or software as a service that they host. So if we go over to get started for self-hosting for example, they have two versions, their enterprise and community versions. And you can see here, for example, if we go over to the community version, scroll down, we could see all the different options that we have available to us, including direct downloads for Debian based systems. We have RHEL systems, Windows, we have a couple Docker containers, uh, one click DigitalOcean install. This is also pretty easy to install on the node if you'd like to do it there. And they have some more options here. And of course, they're trying to make some money here. So their enterprise edition allows you to have more users, some more features, and a perfect professional technical assistance from only office directly for this video what we're going to be doing is checking this out on on their servers just because it's a lot easier to get in there if we just go to use on the cloud here you can see this is their cloud version it's actually free up to five users which is pretty cool so what i'm gonna do real quick i'm gonna fill this out jump on in and uh check out what they have to offer Okay, so first let's start with documents. This is your basic file storage platform, similar to things like Google Drive, Nextcloud, and Dropbox. However, its main feature is the easy integration with OnlyOffice. In fact, you can easily share them in between other users on your portal and add them to your feed. If we go to create here, we can create a new document and open it up within OnlyOffice. OnlyOffice has a very similar UI to Microsoft Office. In fact, it's one that I recommend to a lot of people who are trying to switch away from Microsoft Office to free and open source software. You got your ribbon bar on the top with tabs for various categories for the tools you might need. We also have a sidebar to the right for editing other elements on the document. And the sidebar can also function as the document search. You can add document comments and chat. And the setup is also very similar in spreadsheets and presentations. And if you don't want to use this full office suite, you can always download only office itself on your desktop or go ahead and use an integration service with a uh, next cloud own cloud and many other platforms. So back to workspace here on the document page, you can also connect to other cloud drive services and integrate it with OnlyOffice and easily share files between users and even the entire portal. This makes it very easy to view files that are shared across the portal, as well as files that are in a project that you have been assigned to. Also, if you need to do any office work from a mobile device, and all of the only office applications are available on most smartphones. The next service here we have in only office workspace is projects. This is a project management tool that allows you to assign different people to various projects that you set up. Once a project is created, we can go to the tasks section and create tasks for different projects and do some of the things you'd expect like adding due dates as well as creating subtasks within the individual tasks. We can attach documents to a task, assign tasks to certain people and link tasks together. Ta -ta. It was hard to say tasks that much. <laughs> There's a feature within it that allows you to set milestones associated with a specific project and due dates for those milestones, which this ultimately helps you keep track of a project's overall development. There's also a Gannett chart, which helps show you the timeline of certain projects. And there's even a nifty little uh, time tracking feature, which is nice. Like documents, there's also a specific mobile app for only office projects, which is awesome, allows you to actually manage all this on the go if you do need to. Next up is the CRM tool. And for those of you who are not in sales, this stands for Customer Relationship Management. And from here, you can add companies, people, add people to companies, add tasks to a company, manage documents, projects, and even send invoices straight through this software. You can also create opportunities through this, which will allow you to assign tasks, participants, and add invoices and link documents to them. 
and you can also easily generate sales reports with a few clicks. Next up is going to be only Office Mail, and I will note that if you use the free version of Workspace, you're going to have to use your very own email provider because only Office only offers to host emails for paid users. That said, this is an online email client incorporated into the Workspace's environment. You can both send and receive emails here, filter them out, and manage multiple accounts. You can even allow various users that are in your portal access to a single email. For example, if you wanted to share like support at your company.com or even marketing at your company.com to an entire department, you have the ability to do that. You can also create email templates if there's a certain kind of email that you send rather frequently. There's a chat application for your team that is based around Jabor, and this allows you to both directly message people and message the entire portal. The contact list is automatically updated because it's based on the company employees. And to be completely blunt, sponsor or not, this application is missing a couple of uh, quality of life features, which means when it comes just to chat, I generally would rather stick with something like Slack or even just use Discord. But the basic chat function functionality does exist if that's something you want incorporated into your workspace environment. Now, next up, we have the community tab. Now, it's kind of interesting because this isn't enabled by default, but I'm still going to cover it because it's pretty cool. To enable it, all you need to do is enable it with a single click within the settings application. So here you can create posts that everybody in your portal can see and people can comment on them. So it's similar to a internal blog for everybody within your company. Forms allow people to make forms and categories as well as post and reply to threads like any other common form software. Marks is where you can share useful web resources and a wiki is a place for you to store your company documentation and sort it into various categories. Now this is an extremely useful feature and honestly I don't know why they don't advertise it more and it's barely mentioned anywhere on their website and it's disabled by default. So I don't know. Now the last three tabs don't do too much, but they're still worth mentioning. So I'm gonna kind of just speed run through these real quick. The calendar automatically syncs with project tasks and milestones. So you can use this to plan things out in advance to see when project milestones are due. The people's tab just allows you to manage team members and filter them out, edit their settings and see upcoming birthdays. Other than that, there's really not too many features for that. Finally, the feed is where all your notifications for OnlyOffice are stored. And this is very helpful to see, for example, projects or tasks that you are assigned to. Finally, there is an application directory that will allow you to integrate your workspace into different third-party services. For example, you can connect it to some storage services like Dropbox, Box, OneDrive, Google Drive, but you can even connect to your workspace to Twilo and use it to call your clients with virtual numbers. So overall, if you're looking for a service to go ahead and manage your small business, this is definitely something worth investigating. Most of all, the major functionality is free if you have less than five users, which is really great if you're just starting up. And it's really great if you don't want some big tech giant managing your data. Anything I mentioned in this video will be linked down below, including the trial and free versions of only office workspace. And like I said earlier, if this tool or this suite of tools doesn't specifically meet your requirements, it still by, it might be worth integrating only office into your workflow, whether that be through their desktop applications or integration into other services such as Nextcloud. And of course, if you don't want only office having any of your data, you could just download this and host this for yourself on local hardware or even somewhere else on the cloud that you prefer. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure you subscribe, ring that bell. I usually don't do sponsored videos like this often, but OnlyOffice is an awesome company with their primary focus being free and open source software. So, I mean, it's an awesome deal. With all of that, I hope you have an absolutely beautiful day and goodbye.